in the deepest lake on Earth, scientists descended into a world older than humanity. They went looking for answers. What they found was a discovery that shouldn't exist in freshwater. Things that live in pressure, cold and darkness and something moving where no light has ever reached. If light can't survive here, why does something seem to move toward it? Lake Baikal, Russia. A rift valley carved by a restless planet over a mile deep, nearly 1,642 meters, older than most mountain ranges, holding one-fifth of the world's unfrozen fresh water. A scientific expedition returned to this ancient basin to probe an underwater mystery. Heat vents, methane seeps, and life forms that should not thrive in such cold, crushing black. Baikal is a living tectonic scar, active faults, landslides, and steep underwater canyons. Microbial mats cling to mineral-rich seeps. Gas hydrates, ice that burns, sleep beneath the mud. Endemic life thrives. The translucent Golomyanka, alien-looking amphipods, and the only freshwater seal on Earth. The plan was simple. Map the floor, sample the seeps, come home. But the first descent didn't go as planned. At 1,600 meters, light dies, pressure builds. The hidden world beneath turns strange. Data spikes near a cluster of cold seeps. The water shimmers with rising methane bubbles. Then, movement. Pale forms slip along the edge of the beam, too fast to classify. Instruments log temperature micro fluctuations, as if something living is breathing from the vents. The camera lingers on a field of white, bacterial colonies carpeting rock-like frost. A translucent fish, likely a golomyanka, ghosts across frame, bones faint, muscles jelly clear, then vanishes as if the water swallows it. The tether hum tightens. Communication drops. Seven seconds of nothing. When the signal returns, the ROV stares into a vertical wall. Fresh scar, sediment still raining down. Something shook the slope. But what moved first? The earth or what lives on it? On the way up, the sub passes a tangle of filaments waving like grass in a windless world. Not plants not algae. Feeding. On what? The samples didn't lie. Scientists discovered novel microbial communities, lineages adapted to chemical energy instead of sunlight. Extremophiles drinking from Baikal seeps like they were miniature hydrothermal vents. Some sequences didn't match known databases, unknown species at least to our records. In a lake, Chemosynthetic bacteria and archaea form the base of a dark food web, similar in principle to the deep ocean. Gas hydrate fragments hissed under warm lab lights, evidence of ancient methane trapped in ice-like crystal. Footage confirmed gelatinous pelagic fish and giant amphipods, specialists of cold, oxygen-rich depths. Lake Baikal blurs a boundary we thought was solid, that fresh water is simple and the deep belongs to the sea. The deepest places on earth share a rule. The darkness writes its own biology. If life can build an ecosystem from rock and gas here, where else can it take root? We've mapped the moon more than our own lakes. In Baikal, time runs deep, older than ice, older than cities. And inside that quiet, earth keeps an ancient secret. Life doesn't wait for sunlight, it waits for a chance. We peer into the dark and the dark looks back with breath. The oldest water remembers